All right, in the key of E. One, two, three, four. I've got a good one for you. This is in E minor pentatonic, a scale that everybody knows. And I'm doing fives inside of it. Now, what does that mean? I've got a pattern that's five notes long, and then it loops in a different place, but it has this five thing to it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Let me play the notes so it makes sense. One, two, and three, and four. <laughs> Hear that? You know. Anyway, that's the sort of thing. And uh, let me show you the first five notes. D, E, and then we go up to the, the B, and that's a string skip. And for that, you can use your shoulder to kind of push your pick forward. Like that. All right, and then we're gonna finish it by barring your third finger from E to D. Another string of skips. So you gotta quickly be able to do that. And again, that you're, that's, the shoulder will really help you there. But I want you to watch up here. I'm not using the elbow. I'm not trying to do some impossible thumb extension. That's the thing. You might want to just loop that to get the technique together. And again, these are 16th notes, so your grid, your rhythmic grid is actually divisions of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. But inside that grid, you're laying in pieces that are five notes long. So every time it restarts, it's kind of at an unusual spot, which is one of the reasons why it sounds cool. So one, two, and three, and four. All right, so that's your first one. Now, once you got that, the rest of them are going to be so easy because they're the same. They're just using, actually, a more familiar shape of E minor pentatonic. The next one is this one. So that's you're going to look at this and go, like, I know that one. It's E, G, and then you're going to do the same skip to the D string, D note. And then, now here's the only the, the technical thing, is you're going to have to use these last two fingers or maybe not. You know, you might be able to get the other ones if you want, but I, I use those two. The pinky for the G and the third finger for the E. So, you know, if you want a little left hand workout, that's a good one. And again, it's important to stomp this so you get the feel that it's both 16th notes and a five note phrase. One, and two, and three, and four. This is very much enabled and not tangled up because I'm not picking everything. That really is helpful to hammer on that second note. So I'm doing a downstroke and a hammer. I think everything else is picked. Yeah, so four out of five ain't bad. You know, if, you're, if your moral beliefs are that every note must be picked, then you won't be too disappointed. Four out of five are picked. Then the next one, I bet you guessed it already. It's in our familiar and very friendly square pattern. Ah, isn't that nice? This is easy to play. You only need two fingers. You play A and B. You go up to the, you do the string skip, that G. And then you do the bar with your third finger to play B and A. You can do that with your head too. I'm just feeling the music, excuse me. All right, so the next one. That one, I gotta close my eyes, because that sounds even better. Okay, this is, again, inside the very familiar pentatonic shape that you know, and I'm doing D, E, reaching up for the string skip to the B note. That's an upstroke, by the way. B, so down, up, down, up, down, up. That's gonna get you over that G string without bumping into it by accident. That's important, you don't want string noise. 
also when you land on that note, and this is, this is global, this is not just for this note, although it's probably more important here than other spots, look at my first finger. It's doing more than one thing. It's playing the note, that's one thing, but the really important thing is it's touching the adjacent strings. So the E note there is, is muted, and the G note is muted. So even if I'm kind of, you know, if, if I bump stuff, this has it all under control. It's one of the best habits you can get into. And if you go to my online school, like I go crazy with, with teaching how to do that. So everything you play is just cleaned up globally. But, the, but this lick in particular, because it's got the string skip and there's potential for that G note ringing out. That's, you know, if you don't have this habit, that's gonna happen. Just cleans it up. The left hand mute and the upstroke are the things that are gonna keep this really untangled and nice clean notes with no string noise. And then our end, we're back to those little fingers and deep. Gotta stomp it one and two and three and four. The other advantage of the of the shoulder thing is that it allows me to keep a consistent angle with, with this hand and, and I can mute as I go. So when I do this, they don't ring into each other because I can mute that D string on the way. When I get, I, I can mute the D and that's so you don't get, get that, I mean, it's just a little bit of ugliness but I'd rather have no ugliness. That's the secret. So that this is really useful, that shoulder thing. All right, we're almost done. The last one, it's kind of the same. It's just, you just move it down one string. Probably getting tired of hearing me talk, so I'm just gonna let you figure that one out because it's the same thing. Put them all together. One, and two, and three, and four. Could end there, but I decided to end it with a scale. E minor scale, but guess what? I left out the sixth. There's no sixth in there. And that's a little tricky to do because your hand has to get used to doing three notes on a string, two notes on a string. I wouldn't have liked that when I was a teenager. And then three again and one. So you have to get used to it not being consistent physically to your hand. Three, two, three, and one. And you gotta make that even. That takes some practice. And making it smoother by put, putting in the occasional pull off. That whole thing, one, two, three, four. You give it some vibrato. That's the giant finger, all four fingers together as a team. You wouldn't want to give that much responsibility to the pinky by itself. That's not fair. But use all four fingers. All right, thank you so much for listening to me talk and talk and talk and talk. I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoy being at Sweetwater. They even let me wear my brand new yellow jumpsuit. It's the color of learning. All right, rock and roll! Thank <laughs> you.